Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Manny MUA. Um, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. I cannot do those kind of intros. I just look, I just feel so weird. Like, you know how people like do those intros like, hey guys, it's something, like, I can't do that. I don't know what it is. I just can't. Like, my body just doesn't want to do that. Let's start again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be my favorite Morphe brushes part Two. I have one video already up. It is my favorite Morphe brushes. It's like my top picks. I use Morphe in literally every single video that I'm doing makeup because they are my favorite brand. I'm an affiliate with them. They're just they're great people and I absolutely love them and I think the quality is outstanding for the price. The price is there. The quality is there. I have rings on. I have rings on. These are add-ons for my last video. I will leave my last video down below. The brushes in the last video are absolutely amazing and I totally recommend those brushes as well, obviously. And I'm not gonna be doing any repeats in this video because these are like my second part after like the Flawless Collection launched and after the Elite Collection launched. So this is gonna be a separate video from that one. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please, Please don't fucking watch it because I don't give a fuck. But if you guys do <laughs> but if you guys do like this video and you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Let's go and start with the face ones first. I chose five face brushes to go with first. I'll probably be saying this a lot, but these are again add-ons to my last video. But I like these face ones so much, as well as the other ones, of course, but these are the ones that are continued. Die for worthy. All of these brushes you're gonna know of because you're like, oh my god, like he uses all of them. Yeah. Oh yeah. So the first one is gonna be the G Zero Powder Brush. This is part of the Gunmetal Collection. It launched after the Gunmetals launched though, so I didn't have it when I first created my first video. It is a very, very fluffy, dense powder packing brush. It is so good at applying powder foundation. That's what I use it for. I use it for powder foundations down my neck or on my face, or applying powder, any kind of powder. This is great because it is so large in circumference. I have a huge face. I'm a fucking man. I need a large like area to be filled, you know what I mean? So the G Zero is absolutely amazing if you have a larger face, or even, even if you don't, it doesn't even matter really, I'm just saying that. But it's just a great brush and I think it's so compact. This is one I take to travel with me at all times. I'm always with this, I never part with it. Great powder brush, you cannot go wrong with this brush, I kid you not. So next let's go on and move to the bronzer. So for a bronzer brush, I actually just got this brush recently, but it quickly became one of my Morphe favorites. Literally, I'm obsessed. This is the M527. It is a paddle brush that is a white like goat hair style brush. It's paddled so it has like that flat surface. Like flat surface like that. I use this personally for bronzer. This is what I use to bronze on my face all the time now. I have not used another bronzing brush in a while because this brush has been taking my cakes. Taking the cakes, you know what I mean? It's so ridiculously soft. It's just honestly so freaking nice. Definitely check out the Morphe M527. You will not be disappointed whatsoever. It's also a very similar dupe to the, for the MAC one. It's like, I think it's like the MAC 135 or Honestly, I don't even know what the name of the MAC one is. I'll probably put it right here floating in the air. This is like 16 bucks. The MAC one is 42. Are you kidding me? Get this one. So next for blush, let's go on and do some blush. This one is dirty because I use it every day. This is the Morphe E3 brush. This is a tulip styled brush. It's a very cute pointed little cute ferrule. I don't know. It's just it's an adorable brush. I just, I don't know, I just love it. This is so cute. The Elite launch that Morphe did was my favorite launch that they've ever done. I think the brushes are absolutely amazing. The bristles are to die for. The quality is amazing. They remind me of the Sephora brand brushes, which are so much more expensive than these ones. I use this for blush. I think it's absolutely perfect. You can use this with powder in specific spots, especially if you're like more on the dry side. Powder the T-zone for blush, for, to contour because it is pointed. You can always bronze with it. This is just such a universal brush that I think you cannot go wrong with. The E3. Check it out. You will not be disappointed whatsoever. Like, look at this. Look at that. Perfect placement. So good. So the next one is a foundation brush other than the buffing brush I used in the last video. So this is the Morphe E6. It is a flat top kabuki brush. Of all the flat top brushes that I've ever tried, this one is my favorite because it is so freaking dense. Like, I don't want to smack the bitch. The size of it is literally like perfect. I just think it's absolutely stunning. It's also from the Elite Collection, so it is synthetic fibers. They are so, so, so high quality, very dense. You can just really buff out a foundation with this really nicely. What I like to do is I'll use my Dior Air Flash or foundations that are not as full coverage, and I'll apply them using this, and I'll really build up that coverage really nicely. If you guys are interested in like flat kabuki brushes, I would definitely try out the E6. Between this one and the M439, I think it's called, the buffing brush, those are the only two foundation brushes I use, like this one and the M439. Those are the only ones. This is just taking my life right now. It is giving me life in every way possible, and I live and die for it. So my last face brush I want to talk about really quickly is the Morphe M510 brush. It looks like this. It is actually the brush I used to highlight with. This is part of the Flawless Collection, I believe. One of the really popular brushes is the M501 by Morphe to highlight with, which is great. And I think I feel like Jacqueline started that trend, and I love it, and I totally use that too. 
But for me, honestly, I don't know what it is about this brush. I just like this one a little bit more. It's the, the 510. But I think that this one is just a little more and higher in quality. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping. But I feel like I like the white Go Hair brushes um, a little bit better for highlighting. It picks up product really nicely. I'm, I used it today to highlight my face. So if you're interested in the highlighting brush, that's really, really good. It's tapered. It's small. It's very, like, precise. And if you don't have the M501, if you have the M501, do not buy this brush because it's very similar. But if you don't and you want to get a brush that's really great at highlighting at a really cost-efficient price point, try the M510. You will not be disappointed in this brush whatsoever. Now that we're done with the face ones, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the eye ones. So let's go ahead and start with the biggest and let's go to the smallest. It is the E27. I literally use this in every single eye tutorial that I've done. And like the recent months since I got it, I've been using this only. It is so fluffy. It reminds me of the Sigma E40, like 100%. Just a little bit more dense, so it's a little bit more like compact and it can pack on a little bit more color. So I'll use this with like Beaches and Cream or Peach Smoothie and just use it as my transition color or just like put a color all over the lid. It doesn't really matter. It is just such a nice brush. It's super high quality. It feels absolutely amazing. And it's so fluffy. Can you see how fluffy that is? Like, I don't know if you can tell. It's like fluffy as fuck. Look at that fluff. It is bomb. So I would definitely check out the E27. If it's in stock, I swear this thing is not in stock all the time. Like... And if you guys want to, what well, you can also use this as, this is just a random thing, you can always take concealer and use it for your under eye concealer because it is a little small like buffing brush. It looks like a little pinky. It's like perfect size for that as well. So it's a multi-purpose brush, but I use it for my eyes as transition because that's what I like it for and it works perfectly for me. How about that outfit change though? <laughs> the reason I'm in another shirt and the reason my makeup is different is because I was going over my footage from this video and basically what happened is when I went to go um, autofocus, the brush, it like basically like stopped tracking my face for the whole entire video. So the rest of the video, I had lost all my autofocus on my face. So I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. So I was super pissed off, but you know what? Fuck it, dog life. I'm just gonna film it like this. And I hope you guys don't mind. I think I left off at talking about the E13. It is a pinched ferrule brush. It is a very, very, very similar to the MAC 217, but a little bit more dense and a little bit more fluffy. Um, so you can still pick up product really, really nicely and still like blend it into the other colors really nicely. It's not gonna be as fluffy, so you're gonna get more precise work with this one. I absolutely love the E13. I think it's stunning. So I'll definitely check out the E13. Excuse my makeup. I'm sorry if it looks like shit right now, but... I did this makeup in like 30 minutes, full face, like full glam, and I was like, let me just, a bitch gotta do what a bitch gotta do. So the next eye brush is going to be the Morphe M507. Love the M507. I think it's such an amazing brush. It's a very small, baby pointed, tapered brush. I don't know if you guys can see it. It looks like this. What I love about this brush so much is that I can pick up product with it and blend into my crease really, really nicely and very, very precisely. So if I'm doing more of a cut crease or a like really defined crease with some dark colors or some black in there, precision blending with this one is so much better and it keeps the color right where I want it to be. It doesn't like move the color like a fluffier brush would. What's cool about this brush too is that if you have smaller eyes, a lot of the time it's really hard to find blending brushes for smaller eyes, but this one is such a great option for those of you who have smaller eyes, who have hooded lids, who have mono lids, like anything like that. It is bomb.com and this one's like really cheap too. It's like four bucks. Bomb. The next one is probably like <laughs> one of my favorite elites like of all the elite collections that they launched. This one is like one of my favorites. This is the E36. It's this small, tiny little pencil baby blending brush. It is so fucking cute. What I like about this one so much is that it is dense, but it's so soft. It's not like a hard denseness with like other pencil brushes that I use. I use other pencil brushes that are kind of hard and they like hurt when I'm blending out the bottom lash line. I'm like, yo, I'm like hurting myself. This one is so, so, so soft and it's just so good at getting up into like the nook of the crannies, a little cranny up in here. Personally, I use this for the bottom lash light to kind of blend out everything, but you can use this brush for anything, even an inner corner highlight, brow bone highlight, outer corner, like detail. Bomb. This is just a universal brush that I think everyone should use. Second to last, so this is the Morphe E32. It is a flat shader brush. It is very dense, which is why I like it so much. So the reason I chose this one is because it doesn't move very easily, which I love about it. You know, like, because there's a lot of brushes that are shading brushes. Like, you pick up product with it and you put it down and it kind of, like, moves around because it's not dense enough. What I like about this is that it's so freaking dense, but still like flexible at the top of it. Like, it's still like, it's, it's still a little flexible bitch, you know? It is seriously just one of the best brushes at packing on shadow, using with concealer, carving out a brow with it. I would definitely check out the E32. It is so good. Last but not least, no. Yeah. So last but not least is the Morphe M421. This is an extremely small, tiny little brush. It looks like this. This is also another synthetic brush that is a great packing brush for those of you who have smaller lids. I love this because I love to apply glitter with this or use it for concealer to like kind of carve out the brow or um, clean up my outer corner liner. It's just much more of a precise brush. This one I can use for anything and I know it's going to work besides blending. Obviously you can't blend with this little bitch, but it is so, so, so great at applying shadow as well. It's just a multi-purpose brush. Spray fit 
Fix Plus on it, get a foiled shadow, pop it on there. This brush is definitely more on the flexible side. It's not as dense as the last brush I was talking about. So if you want to be more flexible with the color, this is a great option for you. Or if you have like less um, lid space or things like that, totally all good. But it is such a great alternative to like that MAC packing brush that everyone talks about that's super, super popular. So definitely check out the M421. So yeah, that's it. That's it for my entire video. This is the part two of my favorite Morphe brushes. Morphe is such an amazing brand. I love them so, so, so much, and their quality is just out of this world. Yeah, I am an affiliate with Morphe. Morphe brushes is one of my favorite affiliates to be part of. They are so amazing, and they're so caring, and I honestly just love them so much, and I love to, like, just promote their brand because I truly think that they are just amazing people, and their brand is great, and they just stand for great things, and I love them. I love them so much. So if you guys do want to save 10% off, you can use the code MANNY, M-U-A, in all caps, online, or if you guys are in the store in Burbank, you guys can go over to the store you're at checkout and be like, can I use uh, Manny MUA's code? And they'll literally give you 10% off right then and there. And so it's kind of cool. I do get a small commission off of it, as do most people that have affiliate codes. If you guys are not interested in that, I totally understand. If you guys have ever used my affiliate code, I truly, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it. It means a lot to me, you know? Um, if you guys don't want to use the code, I don't. It's all good. It is all good. I'm not going to be mad. It's so, it's totally fine. But you like to save money too, so it's kind of cool. Other than that, please feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Everything in this video will be linked down below. All the brushes I've talked about will be linked down below, as well as every single individual link for every brush I talk about. I would just like to lay it out for you guys in that way because it's a little bit easier for you guys to find. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are in this world. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I love you so much. Mwah. I mean, not really. It looks like a fucking dildo. Mm. Calm down. Calm the fuck down. This is PG-13. Now it's R. <laughs> it's fucking R. Huh. Maniacs. Out. Huh. 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 Maniacs. Maniacs. Mani. 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 Okay, calm down. Calm the fuck down. How's the highlight, though? I can even see the highlight from the viewfinder, how intense it is. Like, it is an intense highlight. I bet I'm going to be getting, like, people like, why is your highlight so bright? Because it is. Because it is, okay? Because it fucking is. Am I good? Am I Gucci? Or not? Ah, fucking fly. One. I chose five eye brushes. Sorry. Ma. It also said, it is also. My name's Manny. Manny, give me away. What's up? To the window, to the wall, to the swept drop down my ball. No, I'm just kidding. I swear if it's not M439, I'm gonna be so pissed off because I think it's that. I think that's what it's called. M429, M439. Fuck. What? Oh, it's right there. I'm gonna grab it. Hold on. It is the M439. I knew it. I. Oh. <laughs> I almost got my face. Thank you.